And this, boys and girls, is how you realize you probably have a routing loop. <laughs> this, this is not how uh, to build out your networking closet. We have one, two, uh, three, uh, four, five, six, seven, built in, uh, eight. I think we're, are we up to eight? I think we're up to eight switches uh, for this uh, networking closet. This, this is not how you do things because then you get uh, rounding loops. Uh, so when you see the lights blinking like this, so basically the lights should blink whenever the port detects network traffic. So this should blink at its own rate and this should blink at its own rate. They all should basically be blinking at their own rates. When you see them all lit up like this, basically fluctuating more or less at the exact same time, especially when you see it across multiple switches, generally what that means is some cable here is looped to some cable here that gets looped somehow back. And why you see the, the traffic going uh, basically like that is because you have a loop. So traffic comes in and then it loops and it loops and it loops and loops and loops and loops and loops. And, loops. and so everything is blinking at the same time. Um, and this, this can either crash your network or dramatically, dramatically, dramatically slow down your network. Um, so for this particular environment, they really should have a 48 port um, you know, if not Cisco switch, uh, at least a switch that has uh, something called um, loop detection. So uh, you'll hear about routing protocols and things. And so one of the things you can have in switches is something called loop detection. And what loop detection does is it detects when there is a loop in your network, and then it doesn't allow the loop to continue so that you don't get this mess. So, uh, so yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> This is one of those times when you're like, wow, wow. Yeah, this is an ugly ass networking closet. Um, I'm gonna leave now, <laughs> I'm gonna leave now. So anyways, lessons from the real world. And again, how, how things really can be. Uh, so this is, this is where the, the network comes in. So we have uh, this, this gives us our little fiber, a fiber connection. This is actually expensive. This is like a $3,000 box, a Cisco box. So it's basically your router and your switch. And then from here, that breaks into one, two, three, four, uh, five, six. I don't know. I think those are seven. I don't know. Just a crap ton. Just a crap ton. We just have a, we just have a switch here. We just have a Cisco switch. Why? I don't, I don't know. So anyways, um, the real world about networking closets, it's, uh, yeah, sometimes, sometimes you just don't even know what to make of it. And again, this is where being a technology professional isn't exciting. So, so I used to do a lot of this kind of work. Like this is the kind of work that pays a lot of money, right? Cleaning this up, cleaning this up is a at least a thousand dollars at least. Uh, and so literally what you do, literally what you do is you unplug one and then you bring it all the way back and you figure where it goes and then you do the next one and then you do the next one and you try, try to figure out what this rat's nest is and you go one by one by one uh what you should have here is you should have a nice big patch panel so there should be a massive like a 48 not a massive but a 48 port patch panel as so the 48 port patch panel would have all the network cables coming to it and then you should have a 48 port switch right? Some big ass, a 48 port switch. And so then from the patch panel, you would go to the switch. And then from the switch, you would have one connection that would go then your router. Um, and then it would be just nice and clean and, and easy. You would just go like, oh, this it goes to there. That's how it should be. So anyways, and the other thing too is like marking your patch panel. So I've had to do some troubleshooting today and you'll notice nothing is marked. Um, so again, when you're, do, when you're actually building out a server room, I know marking patch panels seem like a pain in the ass and it is a pain in the ass, but here's the thing. You mark your patch panel once and then for the rest of the time, your infrastructure is up and running. You always know. It's like, okay, that's conference room one and that's conference room two and that's conference room three, right? Um, yeah, where, where does this one go to? Where does that one go to? Where does that one go to? Oh, you need to light up a port in another room. Great. Have fun. That's going to be about a three hour job. So anyways, this is just, yeah, this is just what it is. So anyways, welcome to the real world of IT. And unfortunately, this might be a project that I wind up having to take on, even though I don't want to. I do not want to take on this project, but I may have to take it on. <laughs> See y'all later.